Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is an update on my road to 10K. I hope you're excited as I am because I have some good news and some not so good news. So let's get started. Let me drink my iced coffee I just made. This baby is strong today. She's strong. Two weeks ago, I had $670 left on my card, but today I paid it off. I have a zero balance on this card and I'm so happy it took so long. I feel like it took like six months to pay off, but really I think it only took like two and a half um, just because my first paycheck of every month, everything comes out like my car loan, my phone bill, my internet, groceries, gas, all that is like a huge amount of money that I need every month or to last me until my second paycheck and all of that comes out and it leaves me with like $200 left until the middle of the month which is insane so I'm just really happy to have that paid off so now my balance is zero and I'm not gonna use that I'm not gonna use it um my plan with that card is just to keep it until I pay the rest of my other ones off and then I will decide which card I'm going to strictly use and stick to one card. Now I do love Chase Freedom because it gives me the most reward points. Like every time I use it, I earn enough reward points for Starbucks. So really I'm not putting money on my Starbucks card. I'm just using gift cards. But I don't know if that's like a mind trick it's doing. But so I'm really happy to have a no balance. But now I gotta work on the next card. So I wish that was like my only card. <laughs> because all that money that I just paid could have gone to savings, but we'll get on to that in a few minutes. So I'm going to start paying off my city card, which is at 14, I think. Mm. So I can pay that off in about a month and a half. Again, we're gonna try that. Um, so we're looking at August is when possibly that'd be paid off. And that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just really, I'm struggling to not use a credit card because all my money is going to my credit card payments, so I don't have any money left over. But I think that I need to do less money towards my credit card payment, let it take longer, as much longer as it needs to pay it off because I keep using a credit card and that's a no-no. So I think I'm gonna have to use, put less money towards the card so that I don't continue to use them. So that's what I'm gonna do. Um, so we're gonna start paying off my second credit card and this is a city credit card. I used that for, I think I did like a transfer like a few months ago from one of my cards and I just never fully paid it off. So that's what that is. The percentage is not too bad. Um, so I really don't care, but like, yeah, you know what I mean. So that's the goal for the credit cards. And also now that I pay for internet, that's an extra like $130 that I have to pay for. So it's probably gonna take longer to pay off this card but you know what, that's just life. That's just how life is. Refinance my car loan, but I really don't want to now that I think about it. Although it is a lot of money right now, I'm paying like $530. I could be paying $250, but as of right now, I think I'm gonna keep it at $530 just because I really don't wanna have to deal with the bank and all that crap. And it's just a hot mess. So I don't really know, I'm still thinking about it. I've had my car for like three months. I feel like I've done like four car payments. Okay. So next, next is my road to 10K savings. Well, you guys know I've been struggling with that a lot. Um, if I didn't have any debt, I would have hit that goal right now, by now, but I just, my debt is taking all my money. So what happened is I had to use my emergency fund. I had to use $340 of it to pay for my car windshield to get replaced because my car was vandalized at work. So my work is paying to get my car fixed. My car is drivable, but my hood is scratched up, my fender is scratched up, and all that. So they're paying for that, and that alone costs almost $2,500, so they're paying for that. Also, they're reimbursing me for paying for my um, windshield because it was ruined also. It was banged up really bad. I am waiting to get reimbursed for the $340, and that will go back into my emergency fund. Um, so as of right now, I have a hundred and a hundred and sixty dollars in my emergency funds. I really want to start working that up to a thousand dollars. So I'm going to put 
$100 in. So I'm at like $260 today. So I will be at $500 once I get reimbursed and all of that. So that would be great. But I really need to get going with my savings because what's going on? I've been putting too much money towards my debt and your girl needs her savings back up. So that's what I'm going to do. I will be putting $100 away. Other than that, pretty much I have been picking up shifts at work. Luckily, thankfully, my job is like low on staff right now, like where you are severely understaffed. Um, I've picked up two half night up night shifts in the last two weeks. So my paycheck has been a little bit better. I will have extra money to put away towards that and not towards my debt because I need to get my savings picked up. I need, to, I need to bring my savings up. I will have money to put towards savings now. So that's great, right? I'm so excited. So yeah, that's what I will be doing. I am working a ton. I'm working a ton. My job is extremely exhausting and frustrating, very mentally and emotionally drained every single day, but it's a pretty good job. I love my staff, um, but um, other than that, I'm working a lot and picking up shifts so that I can have more money to put away. That's the little update for this paycheck. Um, I'm excited to have zero per to have a zero balance and I will not be using that card. So I just gotta make sure that I'm saving up enough, enough money to use during the week so I'm not using my credit card. So, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this update. I'm gonna go now. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye. <laughs>